Good right, morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, it's another day of vlog here. Just woke up. So, breakfast goes on right, right away. Uh, this fast and stuff. Took the day with a nice breakfast. So, so like I said, today I'm just going to show you what a day of my usual eating looks like and kind of show you that it's not that much different than what anybody else uh, would eat in a day. So, so we got two uh, Nature Path organic waffles. Let's go in the toaster. One banana. I chop it up into little slices. I cut the waffle up and I put the banana on top each time. That's what I used to do when I was little, so I still do it now. And we go with one tablespoon of chia seeds. That goes into the Greek yogurt that I got here. It's the Oikos Greek yogurt. Put my stuff away. Then put a tablespoon of basil onto one waffle and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Or not craft, sorry, no name. Light peanut butter. And then probably the most important piece, let's let's face it, of the breakfast. We got the coffee brewing out. This is the liquid gold that makes the day go. So, cup of coffee, got two Nature Path waffles, banana, and Greek yogurt with chia seeds in it. There's breakfast. Good stuff. Yum, 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 go my tum tum. It's coming very sick and sweet time. It's coming very slowly. To be fair, the uh, conditions today can't get any worse, really. Just finished first interval here. Um, it's 10 minutes. Tempo pace. Now I'm going to the track here to uh, finish the workout with some speed. Um, I, I guess we forgot to mention when we said that it was seven degrees that we have a full hailstorm. We got a howling wind and the track's wet, <laughs> like squishy. But got the work done. Just got to stay positive and think long term. It'll come. Just keep what I kept saying today was just effort. Just focus on the effort. You're not going to run fast. Just focus on the effort. Um, and the effort was very high. So, mission accomplished there. All right, catch back. Alrighty, so we're back. Uh, this Wednesday was much better than last Wednesday. The energy levels uh, were right on. The conditions weren't good for the run, but uh, got it done and then got a good swim in nonetheless. So, lunchtime. Well, lunchtime you're gonna see isn't that much different than breakfast. Differences being that waffles that I have at lunch are a much higher fiber type waffle. Uh, so I go with the maple cinnamon organic ones from Nature Path. They have like just crazy amounts of whole grains in them. Uh, whereas at breakfast, as you saw, I do the chocolate chip ones, which are gluten free and very low in fiber and stuff like that, just because I have a rug coming up after it. So I don't want a lot of fiber in the gut. Um, now, Maybe the controversial part of my lunch because everyone I seem to tell this to, they're like, oh my goodness, I thought you were healthy. How do you do that at lunch? Get out of here. You do that every day, every day? And I'm like, yeah, every day, okay? And that is every single day for the past, hold on, I don't know how many, two, three years, something like that, I've been having three eggs at lunch. The, put the comments below already. I can hear people being like, three eggs every day. Whoa. That's nuts. What about your cholesterol? Well, let me tell you. So, first of all, I've had my cholesterol tested before and it was ridiculously low. So, and I was doing that same diet then as I am now, so I'm not really that concerned. Also, considering I'm a very strict vegetarian, um, I'm not getting cholesterol 
at all from any other source of my diet, like zero. And here's the thing on eggs themselves. I actually don't believe, and the research kind of actually does back me up on this, that eggs raise cholesterol. I really don't believe that they do. Thing is, is that cholesterol is actually more impacted by saturated fat and trans fat. Eggs, yes, they have a little bit of saturated fat, but not much. Most of the fat that's in eggs is the good fat, the unsaturated, polyunsaturated, monounsaturated fats. So that is the fat that is actually working to lower cholesterol. So I think the fact that eggs have this in them, I think that they actually counteract the cholesterol that's in them. The other thing on the cholesterol is that, well, your body has a quota to meet every single day on, on cholesterol. If you don't get it through your diet, your liver just is gonna make it. So your liver is making cholesterol all the time. Fact is, is if you get, say, 600 milligrams from the three eggs uh, in terms of cholesterol from your diet, well, then your liver just says, oh, okay, he's got it from there. I don't need to make it. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, so I really don't think that the cholesterol in eggs is actually going to raise cholesterol. Unless you were eating like 20 eggs a day, but like three eggs a day, it's like, okay, that's 600 milligrams. Well, there's zero cholesterol from any other source of my diet. Um, and like I said, I've tested cholesterol and it's very low. And like I said, the good fats that are in eggs counteract that cholesterol. So um, I'm just, I'm, I have no concern over cholesterol in, in, my, in my eggs and my diet and having three eggs a day. Fact of the matter is, is for a vegetarian, I cannot overlook the fact that eggs are such a high quality of protein because a lot of vegetarian sources of protein in terms of soy protein well soy protein is actually not that hot it's 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 an okay quality protein but i think on that what is it the pdca i'll put it on the bottom here whatever that ranks quality of proteins not actually that great it's it's good but it's not amazing whey protein's much better at 100 right and eggs are also very high on that list. So for, as a vegetarian, I just can't overlook all the benefits in terms of high, good, good quality protein, low calorie, and very good fat profile in terms of having those poly and monounsaturated fats, which are again working to lower that very cholesterol that's in the eggs. So for me, I have no concern over having eggs, even though every single person who I've told, I have three eggs at lunch, sometimes two, but most of the time three. Um, but if it's a very, very light day, then it'll be two. Um, but it's funny, every single person I say that to is like, oh my goodness, I thought you were healthy. And I say, well, um, my cholesterol shows that I actually am very healthy and the eggs are doing absolutely nothing affecting that. So. Anyways, that's my little rant on eggs for the day. Um, in terms of the eggs, I do PC free run eggs. Free run, I really don't think free run versus the other thing, uh, like the just straight up omega ones, really is gonna be that much of a dif difference. But for me, I like to imagine my eggs just running around in a field. I figure if they're fueling a runner, my eggs should, my little chickens should also be running. Uh, like my, my life dream, I, I want to have a little chicken out back. <laughs> I want to I wanna have a little flock of chickens, whatever they be called, in the backyard. That's, that's kind of my goal in life here. Um, and I, I want to let them run around, have fun. Uh, and yeah, so I always laugh with the eggs too. Like I, I always think like whenever I crack one open and I see it has a, has a orange yolk in it, and I think, look at this guy. He can run anywhere and he's running to go eat carrots. Like what a good man. Anyways or girl, whatever. Um, anyway, so that's that's the reason I get free run, just because, I, like I said, I, I figure if fueling a runner, I want my little chickens to be little runners as well, and I like, like picturing them running around a field somewhere, like I said. Anyway, so... Do some eggs, sometimes I do scrambled, sometimes sunny side up, whatever. Uh, two waffles and yeah, that's, that's about it. And then uh, some more yogurt, again some more protein with chia seeds in it and uh, another banana and then I'll have an, ap an apple a little bit later on. All right, anyways, look away if you're, you're still kind of concerned about eggs and stuff like that. You got 
a nice little three egg omelet, but no, there's actually nothing in it. It's, it's just three eggs and then I flipped it over because uh, I forgot to start scrambling things around. I was doing other things. Then we got our two little waffles. We got our cut up banana. We got our yogurt with our chia seeds in it. And then watch this, watch this. This I think is the coolest thing ever. Watch this cup, okay? Watch the little kitties on the cup. All right, watch this. I hope it works, because I'm building this up here. Let me turn the light on. Watch the little kitty. Look at this. Look at that. I think that's the coolest thing ever. I don't know. So as the thing heats up, the, uh, the little design kind of comes in on the little kitty cat there. I think that's pretty darn cool. Anyway, so that's lunch. You got a nice three egg omelet with with nothing in it, like I said, two waffles, uh, and then yogurt with some chia seeds, and then we'll have an apple a little bit later. And then uh, I got physio later on, so we'll catch back. All righty, we're back from physio. It's going good, pretty good. Made some good improvements. Uh, so now I'm just gonna have a little snack uh, before the uh, bike in about an hour or so. So I just got a bowl of fruit here, just mixed berries, uh, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, that kind of stuff. Um, normally I would have an apple, but we're out. We're out of apples. Gonna have have to have a talk with uh, whoever's running inventory around here. Uh, I don't know, it's slacking. Anyways, um, so uh, yeah, so today I'll just do a mixed uh, little bowl of fruit and then actually uh, a third of a cup of some uh, protein, protein granola on top. And a little bit of cinnamon. And then, uh, yeah. So yeah, there you have it. Just a nice little uh, bowl of fruit. Another cup of coffee. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You feel the energy coming on already. Alrighty, so bike done, strength done. Now it's dinner time. Tonight, I'm going to do uh, some pasta. Tomorrow I have a big training day with the uh, KISS Community League, so I'm doing a, like a mini little carb load, and actually all you need is 24 hour carb load. You don't need to do any really more than, more than that to uh, saturate the stores. So I'll do a pasta tonight, but uh, it's, it's going to be a little bit different of a pasta than what I would have if I was like racing in the morning since now I'm racing in the afternoon and it's on a bike. Uh, so this pasta is going to have a lot of veggies in it. Like if I was doing a straight up running race or something like that, then there would be zero veggies of any kind. It would just be straight pasta and that's it. Um, so anyways, here's what we got going on. Alrighty, so the pasta I'm going with tonight is the uh, whole grain fettuccine from Blue Menu, doing uh, 85 grams of it. If you're wondering what the heck I'm doing here, I've been weighing my food for years now, just kind of got in the habit of it. Alrighty, that's 85 grams. Makes it good too, because now I get to give you exact numbers. So we get that going, some good olive oil, a whole whack of mushrooms, then bell pepper, white onion. So those are all gonna get sauteed and then I'll uh, add uh, sun-dried tomato a little bit later and some antipasto a little bit later. It's good to uh, just add some sodium into the, into the mix. Alrighty, so veggies are cooking up. So you can hear in the background. Then, uh, adding into the veggies, I'm gonna do some, I don't have the full label for it right now, but uh, the company Eves, they make a uh, veggie ground, uh, it looks like a ground meat. I figure with a lot of these veggie, vegetarian things, uh, like it's better if you don't like look at it too hard. <laughs> like just look at the nutrition on the back and it's pretty darn good. So uh, anyway, so you're gonna crumble this little guy up. You'll see in a second. But uh, I do 110 grams of that, and that equates out to about 18 grams, so exactly exactly 18 grams of protein. And in every meal, you want about about 20 grams of protein uh, in every meal. 
it's uh, like I said, it's kind of soy protein, so it's not like they're they're not a, you know incredible source of protein in terms of like quality, like just like the egg was, but it's it's better than nothing. Um, so any, and it actually tastes pretty darn good, let me tell you. So 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 far we got our veg, veggie and uh, ground meat, our meat thing, kind of coming together real nice. Sauce has been added, so that's looking good. Pasta's just, it's, it's waiting, it's waiting, ready to go. Um, it'll go in that sauce. Yeah, you heard me, it will go in that sauce. People who put the sauce on top of the pasta without tossing the pasta in the sauce, don't even talk to me. You gotta put the pasta in the sauce and then mix it around in there. Anyways, so that'll come together. Alrighty, so just as that's all getting uh, nice and nice and golden in there, I got some uh, little salad going on here on the side. So I've got some kale mix stuff and then I'm just gonna cut up some cherry tomatoes and put that in. And then a uh, tablespoon of chia seeds. I like to have three tablespoons of seeds of some sort every day. Uh, so right now I'm doing chia seeds, but every now and then it will be uh, hemp hearts. So, but between the two, either chia seeds or hemp hearts, I like to accumulate three tablespoons per day. So. Coming together nicely here. Pasta's in. It's just, we let it just marry with the veg and all that stuff for just a little bit. Um, before I put the pasta in, by the way, I seasoned it a little bit with some black pepper and some uh, roasted garlic. This thing is just banging. It's out of this world. Anyway, so I seasoned it up with that because it's always good to season pasta before you even put it in the sauce. That's how it gets on that, on that noodle. Anyways, so this will be this will be done in just a second. Got a couple strips of focaccia just cooking away in the oven here. Just a little olive oil and black pepper drizzled over top. We got our salad, a uh, little basil dra dressing on that, pasta with our little uh, ground meat and veggie melange there. Then a nice big bottle of water. Um, and, then, and then some focaccia with uh, a little bit of olive oil drizzled over top and black pepper. I'll finish this whole thing with black pepper, but I can't hold the uh, the phone and do that at the same time with the pepper grinder. But anyways, basically that's it. Just a huge amount of carbohydrate, but not like a crazy amount that like I'm gonna be feeling sick. But like that's like I said, the beauty of the vegetarian diet is you can eat to your heart's content and there's actually not that many calories and things. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, so and then obviously some bread because at the bottom you know that there's going to be sauce on the bottom of that plate so you're going to have to you, you need something to wipe that off the plate focaccia is there to save the day anyways good stuff we got our pasta mountain of pasta we got some john oliver going on here good stuff Alrighty, and then we finish the night with some dessert so it's a bowl of cereal there it's actually the same protein granola that you saw it's always good to end the night with some protein and we got a glass of orange juice resting gingerly on this ottoman right now. <laughs> I just saw uh, it was really bad lighting on the table over there. But uh, yeah, so a bowl of cereal, some orange juice, and some suits. Don't look now if you haven't seen the new episodes. I'm going to spoil them for you. Anyways, so that's the night. All right. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I don't know why the lighting is so bad right now. That's the day, night, whatever. Uh, if you enjoy, leave a comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow for another day of the vlog. Tomorrow we'll be showcasing the KISS Community League. It's a big race tomorrow. So I'll have this cereal and then hit the hay.